All righty, hopefully you guys have been enjoying our construction updates on 2022 and 2023. We've been pushing out content and doing some serious investigative work. And I just, I couldn't thank you guys enough. Um, those videos have just been doing so well every day. All the videos we've been uploading have been doing a lot better than I even anticipated. So just wanted to take a quick second to say, honestly, thank you. Thank you to anyone that has come up to me and Craig at the park and said hi, or to like thank us for our content. It really means the world. You wouldn't even understand. It's just truly amazing to receive um, any ounce of praise or even feedback at all. Even if it's not the best feedback, if you got feedback, please don't hesitate to give it to me. If you have ideas too, people are commenting ideas and I am using them, okay? So anything you want or anything you want or need or feedback wise just comment and i am listening i promise i am reading every single comment that's new for me too normally i'm so depressed i just like hide away i am reading everything i am trying to respond to everything um but yeah let's get to the video this isn't what the video is about oh my god a minute in and i haven't even talked about anything wonderland um with that being said we all know that stage three is starting july 16th um, what does that mean for Wonderland? Well, that means Wonderland can technically open at 75% capacity. What could that look like? Well, if they still have seating restrictions on their roller coasters, and I'm hoping they don't, um, I have messaged the park um, seeking an answer on that, um, and uh, we'll wait to see if they have any information on the seating of rides, but we do know that the park will be opening at 50 to 75% capacity, and if I know a business, they're going to open to what they're allowed to open. Um, necessarily, do I think they're going to get up to 75% capacity? Based off of what I've seen, maybe on weekends and Splashworks, yes, but I don't think on weekdays we're going to see them actually be able to get 75% capacity. They haven't even been able to hit 25% capacity on some weekdays. So with that being said, book weekdays, avoid weekends. <laughs> That's my advice to you. What could that look like? Well, we know that all the indoor restaurants should be opening. Um, we know that some of the other attractions may open as well. I do want to let people know that they're obviously is a staffing issue like there is everywhere in Ontario and everywhere in the United States. So um, things might not open due to staffing issues. So if you're at the park and you're wondering why a restaurant isn't opening or a drink stall isn't open or all the rides aren't open, it's just because of the after COVID groans of hiring. And again, they only had 30 days to prep and they had to do a hiring fair and training in 30 days, blah, blah, blah. I've already said this in a previous video. That is why the park isn't necessarily fully staffed, which 100% makes sense. So um, again, just be patient. Uh, maybe avoid Wonderland if you're not patient enough to wait in lines um, or buy Fastlane. That will help you significantly, by the way. This isn't a paid sponsorship, but Fastlane at Canada's Wonderland um, is an amazing deal. And we are hearing, again, I will not confirm um, because I will not put my 100% <laughs> certainty behind it. But if you have a 2021 season pass and you buy an add-on to that current pass that was purchased before this year, um, you any of your add-ons and your pass are good until Labor Day next year. So if you buy fast lane, meal plan, drink plan, parking, it's good until next year Labor Day. Um, I would confirm with the park again. Do not take this as certainty. Do not make your decision based off of what I just said. Ask guest services or ask someone from the park um, to get that clarification for yourself. Whew. Nonetheless, what could that look like? Well, the lines are already pretty full at 25% capacity on some days, uh, like Leviathan, Yukon Striker isn't necessarily full queue yet, but at 75% capacity with social distancing in the queue line, it's going to look like a nightmare. Being full honest, not trying to be negative or anything, it's going to look really bad. So again, avoid weekends. That's why I'm hoping that Wonderland being an outdoor attraction and most restrictions being lifted on outdoor activities, um, social distancing will disappear on the rides. Um, and uh, I think that they'll still be forced to clean. But based off of what we saw in the States, we could see social distancing on the rides actually disappear and cleaning of the rides could disappear as well. Um, the vaccination rates in Ontario are significantly high and we shouldn't see any consequences from being outdoor um, in summer with COVID. Um, I'm not a scientist. I'm just going off of what we've heard and what we've seen. So 
yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about that. There isn't too much to talk about what it's going to look like. I think anyone that has seen the park in the last week can predict what it's going to look like. It's obviously going to be busier. Um, you're going to want to keep your masks on on the midway. I'm sure that Wonderland will actually probably change their mask policy. I'm not quite sure what the guidelines fully are um, for stage three outdoor activities, but I can assume that the average person is going to want to wear your mask on the midways because it's going to be a little busier. And um, the real... It, like what we all really want to know is will social distancing still exist on the rides? And if it does, what rides and which not rides will have social distancing? That's the big question. Um, and my honest, hopeful opinion is that social distancing will disappear on rides. Um, maybe they'll be able to fill all the role, uh, rows, but they won't mix families or groups. Um, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. So all the rows will be open, but no mixing and matching different groups or different families. Um, indoor dining will open, I believe, at 25% or 50% capacity. I don't know the exact percentages, but some of those indoor restaurants, I'm really looking forward to try some of that Middle Eastern food from Backlot. So I'm hoping they open. I've seen the lights on. I've seen the lights on in Marketplace as well. So I'm really hoping there's some sort of um, ability to open in there. I would love to be able to escape some of the, these uh, heat dome days. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely excited. Wonder Mountain's Guardian is ready, by the way. Um, so uh, we could see it open. But again, there are some staffing issues, just like everywhere in Ontario and North America. This isn't Canada's Wonderland or a problem to Canada's Wonderland. Everywhere is having staffing issues. So um, that could mean that all the rides aren't open um, yet. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could possibly predict. Again, if I'm going to give you advice, if you're going to go on these days starting July 16th or if you're going on a weekend, bring an empty water bottle for the water fountains. They are turned into water bottle refill stations. Uh, buy fast lane if you're able to. Totally understand if you're not able to. If you're not able to, be prepared to wait. Um, they, they are still in their first week. Uh, they're, they're learning, they're making mistakes and that's okay. We all do it. Anyone who is angry at a worker in their first week at Wonderland for being slow or making mistakes clearly has never worked in retail and hasn't understood that your first week or your first two weeks at your new job, you've struggled, um, shouldn't be visiting the park. Uh, anyone who's complaining about anything, take a deep breath. Uh, trust me, I totally get being frustrated. We've all been in those situations where we've been somewhat hypocritical ourselves and lashed out or maybe been a little more upset than we should be. I totally get that. That. Um, but be patient, bring an empty water bottle, wear sunscreen, be in a group of friends so you have some sort of ability to socialize. And uh, may, if you don't, bring bring your phone for YouTube and uh, thing and just enjoy the day. Like, don't go in expecting that you're going to get on all the rides. You're not if you don't have fast lane. Go in expecting to do a couple of your favorites, plan out your day, pick a few rides that you want to do, and make some other reservations. You can have up to two reservations. You can really have up to four, but you can have up to two reservations, and once you get into the park, you can already make your second reservation again. So, you know, pick dates, stay, stay to weekday, stick to weekdays, bring your water bottle, wear sunscreen, go with friends, and be patient. That, that's literally the best advice I could give you. If you are one of those people that are impatient, like all those people on TikTok that just need to shut up, um, then don't go to the park. That's my honest advice. This is, The park right now is for people that are really looking for something to do after being locked away <laughs> for over a year. Um, and uh, I just thoroughly enjoy the ability to even just walk around. Um, again, best advice, most of us own phones practice some photography. It's a really fun hobby to pick up. I know nothing about photography. And today I was literally just standing on Timberwolf Bridge trying to take photos of Vortex and you should see all the horrible photos I took. Um, but I sat there and I practiced. I got advice from friends. They taught me how to end up taking these six shots. So, you know, use your phone, practice some photography, like, and go from there. It's a really fun hobby to learn and, um, pass some time with like as you're standing in line there's all these unique angles you can take photos of even if you don't have the best camera it's still somewhere to start and it's still um the ability to learn um but yeah anyways thanks so much for 
listening to this, if you're still here, you're a real MVP because we are literally nine minutes in and I just blabbered. Um, by the way, uh, if you really uh, like our channel, I suggest you follow us on Amusement Insiders, plural, on Instagram. Uh, we're posting a lot of our photography that Craig and I have been practicing with and trying to get better with. So it would be really awesome if you guys could go support us over on Instagram with our photos and all that. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have an amazing Saturday night and Sunday, uh, remainder of your weekend. And thanks so much for always supporting the channel and watching our vids. Have a good one, guys. Bye.